There's still more backlash today over the leaked conversation among Los Angeles City Council members. The council attempting to get back to business today, but calls for resignations of Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo are growing louder. Eyewitness News reporter Annabelle Buñoz, she joins us live in studio with more. Annabelle. Colleen and Philip, some of those protests started as early as 7 a.m. precisely outside of the neighborhood of Councilmember Kevin DeLeon, where Black Lives Matter LA has been camping out daily. Nearly two weeks after the private conversation was leaked, the demands for resignations continue. It was horrendous what these folks have said, but it's more horrendous what these folks have done. Outside Councilmember Kevin De Leon's neighborhood, a coalition of groups held a press conference where Black Lives Matter LA has protested daily. We need to be clear that it was Kevin De Leon's words that were problematic when he co-signed on the diminishment and dehumanization of a black toddler. This week, De Leon apologized for his silence and called it a bad joke when he compared Councilmember Mike Bonin's son to a designer bag, saying it was directed at now former Councilmember Nuri Martinez. No, you made those remarks. You laughed at those jokes. Mm, right, that's right. right. Yeah. And we heard you, and now we're telling you, you need to step down. And if you're continue to ignore the calls for your resignation, that says a lot, and you're not the person to be doing this job. Both De Leon and Councilmember Gil Cedillo were absent at this morning's city council meeting, which started about 40 minutes late. Overwhelmingly, people calling in continued demanding their resignations. And at a press conference with Representative Jimmy Gomez, Congresswoman and mayoral candidate Karen Bass, and civic leaders, the calls for accountability were echoed. The time is for action now to root out anti-black racism, anti-Semitism, anti-LGBTQ, anti-Asian, anti-Indigenous, Latino. We have to come together and explore the corruption at City Hall and explore substantive policies that create equity and transparency in our government and in our city so that we can come together and move LA in a new direction. When you hear the pitting of communities of color that was shown and revealed in those tapes. What I see is structural racism that's like Hunger Games. As long as we keep playing this game where white supremacy prevails and all communities of color are fighting against one another, we will lose that fight. Philip and Colleen, a lot of layers to peel back here. The racism that was conveyed in that conversation, the content of what they were discussing, which was redistricting, now under investigation by the California Attorney General's office, and many are calling for the revision of policies that have been moved forward by the council members involved. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.